In this video, I'm going to show you a uh, timing chain measurement on a 2012 Audi A4 uh, 2 liter turbo. So, this is the 2 liter TFSI engine, I'm pretty sure, if I'm correct. Uh, four cylinder timing chain. Um, so, this one uh, on this model, the space between uh, this cam gear marking and this cam gear marking uh, is to be between 124 and 126 millimeters. Uh, you go and measure this on this one and it is 143. So it's way off. Uh, so that means it's either stretched or it skipped a tooth or two uh, because the maximum spec is supposed to be 126 uh, millimeter. So, if you look here, the marking is supposed to be on the outer link, like normal, like that. And you look over here, the marking is also supposed to be on an outer link, but it is on an inner link. So this means that this has skipped one tooth, and uh, it runs like hell. I'm not even going to turn it on because it just shakes, it sounds bad. Uh, it's, hopefully it hasn't had any interference, but we'll find out once we uh, do a timing chain job on this. Uh, so there's six millimeters in between each uh, link. So you go back six millimeters. That's uh, so that's at 143. So it'd be 137 millimeters. So that's still way over the stretch limit of 126 millimeters. Um, not sure what's going on there. How maybe this chain is that stretched? That's pretty stretched. So I'm not totally sure. Uh, it did run fine before skipping a tooth. Except the reason this one skipped a tooth was because it was low on oil, like really low. I think it had around two liters in it when it's supposed to have 4.6 because these engines love to burn oil. Um, and if you don't check it all the time, then that's bad. It's a good idea to get a, a dipstick here. You can get them aftermarket uh, so you can actually check your oil and not rely on the uh, infotainment system that always tells you bogus uh, levels. Um, so this, we're gonna take the whole front end off of this car uh, get it, getting to getting this off the timing chain cover is pretty easy. All the bolts are pretty accessible without taking the uh, rad and rad support and all that out. Um, so yeah, uh, low oil wasn't enough tension with the oil pressure tensioner. I'm pretty sure, and uh, skipped a tooth and ran like garbage. So we're gonna replace the timing chain while we're at it and uh, put a new tensioner on too. Just again while you're while we're at it because. You might as well replace it when you're doing it because it's the job that takes time, not the the timing chain doesn't cost too much. So yeah, and uh, it should work fine after that as long as uh, nothing interfered, no valves interfered with any pistons or anything like that when it uh, was running off one tooth. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. One last thing is there's supposed to be 12 outer links. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 between the timing teeth, as far as I know. Uh, if I'm incorrect, you can correct me, but that's as far as I know. Um, but yeah, there's 12 and a half here. Um, so yeah, and, and to get to get the cams in this position, you just uh, crank the engine uh, clockwise, I'm pretty sure, till uh, these uh, are pointing up like this way, uh, like they are in this video. Anyways, thanks for watching.